In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, keeping our hands clean is more important than ever. Washing our hands is the best way to kill germs, but when that's not an option, hand sanitizer is the next best thing. Today I'm going to show you the correct way to wash your hands and how to make your own DIY hand sanitizer. Now, most of us know washing hands, okay, we just do it quickly, right? But I want to show you the difference between dirty hands and clean hands. We have an image here that we're going to pop up and this image will show you what your hands look like under a black light. So take a look at that so you can see the difference when you're actually before you're washing and after you're washing how much germs actually comes off your hands. So if you're not doing this well, you're leaving the germs on your hands. Now most of us think, okay, I just get the soap, I scrub my hands together a little bit, right? Well, actually, it takes more than that. And I didn't realize the correct way to wash hands until I actually read about it. So what you want to do, turn on the water. I'm just going to pretend since we don't have a sink here. Get some water in your hands and then go to the soap. Put some soap in there and then you actually have to scrub for 20 seconds. How do you know how long that is? Well, I like to listen to one of my favorite songs. Here's the chorus. How about this? So you scrub. Okay, but you can't forget to do the back of your hands too, right? Back of your hands here. Don't forget between your fingers, under the fingernails. Song is still going. All right, and then that is about 20 seconds. So that's longer than probably most of us do it. And now that song is gonna be going through your head all day, I know, but that's what you need to do. Then you get the water, you rinse everything off, and you dry it. Okay, so that's proper hand washing. But if you can't do that, let's say you're at the grocery store, maybe you're pumping gas and there's no hand washing or sinks available. So hand sanitizer is the next best thing. However, it's sold out. You can't buy any anywhere, but you might have some of the items you need at home to make your own hand sanitizer. So this is what I have. What you wanna do is get isopropyl alcohol and you want 91 or 99%. That's gonna be the key for the alcohol mixture that you put in because you wanna make sure that you're killing the germs, okay? So what you do is you wanna put two thirds of this into a bowl. So there's one and there's two. And then next, I'm sure a lot of us have aloe, right? From the summer when we get a sunburn, you wanna do one third of your aloe gel Okay, just like that. And you wanna dump that in there. And then sometimes it doesn't smell the best, so I like to put in some essential oils. So I have lavender, but one, two, three, four, about five drops of lavender. Tea tree oil has antiseptic properties as well. So I put in about five drops of tea tree oil. That'll help too. Then most of us have a whisk in our kitchen, right? So you wanna get a whisk, cause you really wanna make sure you mix this up and stir it well. And the whisk is gonna do a great job with that, better than any spoon or any fork would. And look how good that, that looks. That mixed up pretty well. So there you go. You have your solution. When you're done with that, you can either use a funnel to pour it into a little container or you can try to pour it yourself. I'm gonna try to pour it myself and see if this actually goes in here without me making a big old mess. So you wanna pour that in and you can get a small bottle or a big bottle or you can make one of these and give it to a bunch of your friends or maybe keep one in your car, keep one at work if you're still going. And then you pour it in just about there. Hey, look, I didn't even spill, that's perfect. And then you have your own hand sanitizer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it up a little bit just to make sure. And then once you're done, you put some on your hands and you wanna make sure you rub until it's dry, okay? And make sure again, you get between the fingers, under the fingernails and on the back of your hands as well. I did it, that's not bad at all. So for more tips on how to make your own hand sanitizer and everything else, visit my website, preparewithshare.com and then Bon Jovi, living on a prayer is gonna be going through your head all day too, but it makes hand washing all that much more fun.